All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Here is another video with my Norton Commando. I've been doing some videos and doing some things on it. And honestly, I'm at that point where I'm just tired of chasing just shoddy work. I'm going to do a full teardown on this motorcycle and do a full restoration. So tear it all the way down to the frame, have everything powder coated, polished, all that stuff, all new gaskets where needed, bolts everywhere, and just get all that done. So some people are saying, what made you decide to do this? I'm Well, I've been chasing just shoddy work for a year now. Um, come on over here and I'll show you just kind of straw that broke the camel's back as I've been messing with this gearbox for quite some time, just trying to get it to where it does not leak. And I finally noticed that somebody put helicoils in some of these holes in the gearbox and some of them have come out, some of them are in, but I can just take a bolt that's supposed to go in, thread in, and I just can push it nearly completely all the way in so that is not good it does not thread you just push in some of them have coils in them and some of them the helicoids have come out and honestly I'm just tired of chasing this work I just the bike deserves to be restored and deserves to do it right and properly so it'll be a bit of a process I've never pulled one of these all the way down to the frame before so just bear with me y'all learn with me because I definitely got a lot to learn so uh, come on in and let's just check it out and let's get started here all right so y'all can see I've already drained the gearbox fluid flew it out of the gearbox and pulled the cover off because I was chasing that problem and so next, first thing I'm going to do is drain the oil out of this engine so I need to get an oil pan real quick and now we're going to drain the oil. There go. Now all the oil is draining out. It's still definitely very hot because I just rode this bike and put it up on the bench. All right, so while that finishes draining, we're going to go ahead and remove the seat and the tank. We'll just start there with the big things, get them out of the way. That way we have access to everything else a bit easier. So what I like about this fastback is the seat comes off very easily. You just unscrew these on either side. Like so. And it just lifts it up and out. So to remove the tank we have a nut on either side right there and there's supposed to be a strap but like I said I've been chasing shoddy work there should be a strap right there but there is not one so when we go to do all this correctly we will be doing it all when we go to put this together we will be doing this all correctly so I'm going to remove these on either side and then I'll pull the tank up and out but first I need to disconnect my petcocks here as well all right, next thing we need to do is disconnect and remove the battery. So to do that, we need to remove this panel here. I've already started loosening up this nut. Push that up, slides forward and out. This actually has tabs on it where it catches and slides in on there. I'm just going to put this nut back on there. That way it's harder to lose. I am putting all my hardware into plastic little sandwich bags and writing on them with a sharpie what they came from that way everything's a little bit easier for me to keep track of so now I'm just trying to figure out what we're going to do next we'll probably remove this primary cover the exhaust and then just kind of start stripping down bit by bit and we're just gonna leave the wheels on for last so what I do, like what the previous owner did, is he actually safety wired these exhaust nuts on. So a lot of times on these Commandos, the exhaust nuts do, they do come loose. They rattle loose as these bikes do vibrate a lot. But this time, he's actually smart and safety wired these. So I'm going to have to cut the safety wire and then remove the exhaust with this wrench right here. Let's get it on. 
and this is a specialty tool for this job that way it does not damage these collars at all and there's one other tab on the back of the bike that's holding these on I think I'm going to probably replace these when I put the bike back together as there are some crud on this exhaust and I just really want it to look nice but we have to remove this to get everything out of the way that way we can pull this engine out of the way as well there's a bit of fuel coming out of that still but we're going to take these carburetors off pull the everything out of the primary over here apart and then that way we can get this engine out all right now that we have the exhaust removing out of the way the next thing we're going to remove is our alternator right here so i'm just going to unplug these these are in there tight, huh? They don't want to come apart. But we will unplug these and then also remove these three nuts that hold this onto these studs. So we'll go ahead and loosen these up. And we also have one here that we have to remove as well. I'm going to remove these three first, then I'll remove that center one next. And we'll unplug this, pull this off, and then we can kind of access our primary a little bit better. My hands are a bit oily and greasy from working on this, so I can't really grip those that well. Then we're going to slide this off. Slide these wires out. Come on. Oh, they're both trying to come through at the same time, so I have to feed one at a time. There we go. And now it is removed. I have to pull this off next. I believe this should just pull right off. All right, so I've got this off. This just kind of wiggled out. It took some force. There's a key that holds that into position. So make sure you take that out. Remove this. And then now we need a puller to remove this pulley right here. But we can go ahead and remove this drive belt. As you can kind of see, got some trash in there. That's not good. I think the gearbox was a little loose, so it kind of slid around a little bit. But I'm going to keep all of this together. Good thing is it's magnetic, so it stays together. We're going to remove this drive belt and remove this pulley when I can borrow a puller. And then we will continue on stripping down this bike. All right, now that we have the belt removed off the primary drive, we're going to remove this clutch. In order to do that, we need this clutch tool right here. So this threads into the center here, and then these holds that spring out. Then we can remove this little circlip spring that holds everything in position. Now we have a lot of force against this clutch right here, and then we can remove the spring. Just, all it takes is a little screwdriver, Just try out one end, and the rest should come right out. Let's see how this does. There we go. Try it out, pull it around, and it all comes out. Now we've got the clutch and all the plates and friction discs. See this is a nice new clutch that I put in not too long ago. Go ahead and remove everything here. Then we can remove our clutch basket next and get on with removing this primary. Alright next I've already bent the tabs back on this and broke this nut loose. We're going to remove this.
does have some resistance towards the end. There you go. We're going to remove all. This will come out just like that. Next thing we have to do is remove this pulley. I need a gear puller, which I do not have currently. And then I can pull that off. And then I can finally remove this primary cover. 